what is the incoming Taoiseach, Leo Varadkar, talking about potentially arming Gardaí when they don't even have basic body cams well, at this point? I think Where do the comments come from? I think context is very important. Uh, and context is very important, particularly in regards to this question. The Taoiseach was asked, if the Garda Commissioner recommended, if he recommended, a hypothetical question, would he support the armament of Gardaí? Uh, and the Taoiseach turned around and said, if the Garda, we saw it at the start of your programme, if the Garda Commissioner recommended it, he strongly considered it, he'd say yes. Um, I don't think he said he'd strongly consider it. I think he said he would absolutely wouldn't he, object he, to it. He said yes, and he said he wouldn't put any barriers if it was the right approach. Um, that's so is that the, Fine Gael policy now? No, not at all. It's a hypothetical question. And it's the Taunisha asking a hypothetical question. It's certainly not Fine Gael policy. And what I would say, to be quite clear about it, is politicians can usually, and Raid and I are two politicians on this panel, politicians can usually be criticised for dodging or dancing around questions or not answering questions properly. You do that for a living trying to get people to answer questions. The Taunisha was asked a hypothetical question and he gave a very straight answer and I respect that. Do you um, agree with him? On this occasion, I don't. Um, but he was asked a hypothetical question. Maybe at some stage in the future, if a future Garda Commissioner asked a question of a future Taoiseach, then something should be considered. But at this point in time, uh, I don't think so. I think Garda Siakona have a very long and a proud tradition of policing by consent. Uh, I think we're unique in that sense. I think that's a big difference between us and other countries. But to be very clear about this, this is a hypothetical question. The Taoiseach gave a very straight answer, and I think it's been blown, excuse the pun, blown out of proportion. Well, to be fair, um, it wasn't that he just gave a very straight answer. He seemed to have absolutely zero objection to the idea of our Gardaí. As you say, that has a long, proud history of never being armed. He seemed to have no objection to the idea of a Garda commissioner said, we think they should be armed, to say, yes, I agree. But this, again, I, and I don't mean to be repeating it, but it's going back to the hypothetical side of it. Like, how long was that interview for? We saw, you know, a 20-second clip of maybe a five or 10-minute interview and we're seizing on one or two sentences. That's because he it's was, quite a major, was, it'll be a yeah, major shift not, in policy for a Garda Shia it's, Khanna. It's not a shift in policy. No one is saying it's a shift in policy. No one is flying any kites here. The Taoiseach was asked a hypothetical question and he answered it straight and I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Right. Oh. I, look, I think a lot of people will have come and I would share in, in some of the panellists here um, viewpoint that it came as a surprise to a lot of people to hear these particular comments and it did seem um, like it was the Taunish that going on a, on a solo run. And look, I take um, John's point that it was a hypothetical question, but it was a very clear answer um, to a, uh, to a hypo hypothetical question um, as though this had been um, thought through before. And look, maybe the purpose of it was that we would have some media attention, that we would have this dis uh, these, this kind of discussion and that the Taunish would be to the centre of that. But I think the, the point really here is that if we talk to local Gardaí, and we've heard what Antonetta said, if we actually talk to local Gardaí, what they're saying is what they need Need is um, extra guardy. They need extra and additional resources. So if we look at Dublin, for example, since 2009, almost 18% reduction in guardy. If you speak to your um, local guard stations, what they'll tell you is that the amount of guardy retiring is more than those that are coming in, and that's the big, big issue for people. So what we need to do but is let's speak just go to those. Back, I suppose just well, we because we are having to... this conversation but... based on Leo Radcliffe's comments. If a guard commissioner were to come to you, let's say you were the minister for justice if Sinn Féin get into power in a couple of years, and they said, we think the Gardaí should be armed at this point, what would you say? No, I, I, th I think at this very... Uh, that, that, that's a hypothetical question initially completely, and we'll end up having another conversation about my answer to a hypothetical question. So, but sorry, we are just very... You, just, we, just, just, just be clear very clear because here. Because in fairness, as John said, Leo Radcliffe was asked a hypothetical question off the back of an incident a couple of weeks ago, should the Gardaí be armed? And he gave a straight answer. I'm wondering what Sinn Féin's um, position uh, is. And, and our straight answer is... No, the way it's working at the moment without Gardaí being armed or a certain Gardaí being armed and the majority of Gardaí not being armed is working extremely well. But what is not working and what Fine Gael have been, have the Minister of Justice for the last 11 years and they are having, we're seeing a huge issue in terms of recruitment and retention of Gardaí. And that is a really big issue for our communities. There is no question in that. Eight, nearly 18% reduction in Gardaí in Dublin. Like that is a very serious indictment of uh, Fine Gael Ministers of Justice. Okay.